Leo couples, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. The overall energy for your reading is the Two of Cups. So you've got a situation coming in that is going to be very stable and you could have a very, uh, you could have a soulmate union with someone. But this looks like it's a situation external from this current, this current relationship that you were in, Leo, because um, it looks like you could be involved in a toxic situation, Leo. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, and this situation could be leading to a break. You might be taking a break from this person in the near future. And evaluating, you know, whether or not this relationship is worth your investment in your time. Because you are learning to see things for what they truly are. And you could be stuck in the past regarding a lot of things. Because things could have been playing out you know, not in odds of your favor. You could have been dealing with a trick with someone who has been bringing a lot of trickery to the table. Um, someone that, you know, it could have been an Aries. Someone that could be a bit emotionally distant from your relationship because I have time for a nap here. As if someone has, you know, emotionally vacated from the relationship. And, you know, they're not really around. Um, they could be uh, literally absent or just not around, you know, to solve problems in the relationship. Or, you know, this person could be absent and not working together in this relationship. This could be a Libra for some of you. Um, it could be a Libra for some of you. Some of you could be trying to find justice in this relationship. Or for some of you, this is a karmic relationship and justice is served. So some of you will reap what it is that you've sown in this relationship. So, um, this could have been a very painful relationship. Things could have happened repeatedly. Um, there could have been a re repeated cycle of pain due to secrecy. Because I'm also seeing the Three of Swords as if someone really genuinely hurt you. And this was a situation, this is a situation that is becoming emotionally draining. Where communication is an issue between the two of you. You could have spent a lot of sleepless nights thinking about this situation, having a lot of ruminating thoughts, uh, trying to figure out, you know, resolutions to the situation, to the to the problems that the two of you are having. But it feels as though the two of you are fighting about the same thing over and over again, not really getting a resolution. There are some trust issues here. Someone is still hanging on to the relationship, but leery about things. Someone is watching to make sure that someone's actions actually line up with their words. Yeah, and I feel like this is an on-again, off-again relationship. It's very rocky. We've got a major arcana card here, the lover's card. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, or this is simply saying that it's time to make a head-over-heart decision. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. I did have Aries earlier. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a fellow Leo. Some of you are just very frustrated with this relationship. You know, because of all the secrets, some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. And like I said before, your par your partner is just not involved in this relationship anymore. And they're not willing to put in the work or the effort for this relationship. And the two of you are not seeing eye to eye. I have the king king and queen here. These are not gender specific, so this, this doesn't have to be a... a, a this could still be for a same-sex couple, but it looks as though the two of you are not seeing eye to eye. You're not, um, there's definitely communication issues here. There's drama here. Um, so someone has had secret agendas. Someone's been seeing someone on the other, uh, on the outside of this relationship, and it looks like there's going to be maybe an inadvertent confession, or someone's going to come out and confess what they've been doing, whatever this person has been doing to keep secrets from you. And there's been a lot of one-upping, a lot of back and forth bickering about things. Someone could be spying on you as well. But it looks like you have a new opportunity coming in. Leo, 
and have regeneration. So this could be someone from the past who is kind of reemerging into the situation and wants a second chance. But there, between that time, there will be an opportunity to breathe. This will be a time for recovery um, from all of this pain that you've gone through in this relationship because it looks as though you're going to sever the ties with this person and emotionally distance yourself because it's been leading up to that anyway. But some of you are not quite having the strength to overcome this situation. And some of you could be dealing with a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, some of you are willing to take a leap of faith into to this new opportunity. Again, a major arcana card, so you have something new coming in. Keep in mind these are general readings, so this may not resonate with everyone. And it's not intended to resonate with everyone. So this is something solid that you have coming in here with the Ace of Pentacles. We've got the Fool card. We've got from a zero to a one. So someone is completely starting over and leaving this relationship behind and wiping the slate clean with this person from the past. Because this person was obviously keeping this a secret and dealing with someone, an ex on the side anyway. So it's, it's now out in the open. So this person is taking a leap of faith. But again, keep in mind, there will be a chance to breathe. There will be a, a time for healing. Because it looks as though you want more out of your relationship. And so it looks like some of you will take a break. And, and you're looking for something more. You're looking for expansion. You're looking for, for something that's not stifling. Maybe you feel as though your relationship isn't growing. Um, Leo, you've got an opportunity for abundance. You have the Ace of Pentacles and you have abundance here. So some of you could be um, maybe hearing of a job. Or you may have a win. I'm hearing windfall. You may have a windfall of abundance coming in. And this doesn't necessarily have to be financial. This could be in love. Because this person that is coming in, for some of you, this will be someone new. For some of you, like I said before, there will be a, re a regeneration of someone from the past. But you do have an opportunity for new love, and this person is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So this reading could resonate for the singles as well. So, this could be someone that you have kids with, or just someone that brings back nostalgic memories, someone from the past. And that, that could be what this spy energy is about, because you are walking away from uh, your current relationship into something new. And this person could be checking to see if you are single, because this karmic cycle has ended. This was a toxic situation, and we had justice here. We have justice here, and we have Wheel of Fortune as if to indicate this was a karmic cycle that is coming to a close in order for your soulmate to come through. Now, some of you could have been praying for this person to come back into your life. Um, but it looks like this could have been something that was someone that was non-committal in the past. But give this situation a chance. Work on your partnership. And this is pertaining to the new relationship, the new thing, or the regeneration. Because I'm seeing that this cycle is ending. Things need to end in order for new beginnings to take place. And I'm seeing that new opportunities are on the horizon. Go ahead and make the effort, Leo. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So I'm seeing that someone will take action on this relationship. Action into bringing this person into being, calling this person into being. Because this is indeed your soulmate. And I'm seeing that some of you could be headed into marriage. You could be headed into something stable with this person. And we've got the chariot here. So this indicates a possible move. So this person could be a, at a distance. Or the two of you could be moving in together. You could be purchasing a home together. We've got Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. You could be moving in and getting married married with this person and um, like I said purchasing a home or the two of you could be working on home projects together something involving the home and goals you could be working together on a common goal to get married and some of you will try to um, we've got the death card in reverse we've got uh, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio some of you are resisting changes um, to this karmic situation it will be necessary for those of you who are going into something new or are returning to someone from the past. It will be necessary to, necessary to communicate clearly, state what it is that you really want so that this person 
completely knows that you are available and that you are open to this relationship. And remain positive. Some of you, this is a definitely a painful situation for you, Leo couples. You're going through a lot, but remain positive because you do have something positive coming in for you. And like I said before, this person is worth waiting for. Holy Spirit, what additional word of advice do you have for the Leo couples and singles? Because this video will resonate with both. For the cup, Leo couples and singles, we have success. So this will turn out to be a successful situation. But it will involve trust. Trust that things will play out as they, they are supposed to play out. And that things will take place in divine timing. All right, Leo, couples and singles, this does it for your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so by contacting me at angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com or directly at my website, and that is the best way to book a reading. You can contact me there at angelicascensionstarot.com. You can also contact me at an app called Instant Go. So if you do happen to have an Apple phone, you can go ahead and download that app at the Apple Store. Uh, there is a link below in the description box that will take you directly to my profile. And you can, um, we can have a chat session, a text session about what's going on in your current situation. Now this is going to involve a situation where you're not looking for a lot of guidance because a personal reading would benefit you more. But if you do have some questions, we can open up a chat. And we can even schedule to have a phone, uh, a um, you know, over the phone, like a Skype type of conversation, because that is available on the app. If you do want to open up and talk about your situation, and I can do a reading for you there as well. But again, this is about something that you're not looking for a lot of guidance on, because a personal reading is would be more beneficial. Okay, so I'm looking at these cards again, and I see something else success i see abundance i see the ace of pentacles i see the ten of pentacles so leo you have something positive coming in in the form of finances it does relate to to relationship as well but you've got the ace of pentacles so you could be hearing of a job that offers you more money because i see abundance here and this will be a successful and lucrative opportunity for you sorry i just felt like i needed to call that out because i felt like i overlooked that in the reading um all right, so this concludes your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. And I will see you again very soon, and we will take a look at what November has to offer. I wish you all the absolute best, and bye for now.